Hello you guys, so um, today I'm just going to show you how to add some depth of field in After Effects. It's pretty straightforward, um, so let's get started. So this is me here. Um, what you want to do is add a new adjustment layer. And add... Well, first you want to turn it off. And just add um, a lens blur. Go down here and check uh, repeat edge pixels, and uh, press G. And uh, I'm just gonna make a quick mask around my head, so or around my body. <coughs> so uh, I'll sh uh, fast forward this part. So uh, yeah. Okay, so um, once you have that, you just want to turn it on, and uh, I will be blurred out. So what you want to do is hit M two times, and uh, click on subtract for mask, and um, everything else is blurred out. So you can always see that line there, which... Uh, Depending on your picture resolution, um, I'm just gonna say about 10, maybe, maybe a little bit more, 20, and um, the more higher the, your pixel resolution, the more you want to feather it, and uh, mine's 720p, so I'm just gonna, based on that, I'm just gonna subtract my mask a little bit and uh, let's see what's going on up here um, I blew out some of my head here I don't know but I'm just gonna unblur that so it kinda looks like I have a dent in my head if I don't so, um, once you got everything uh, straightened out here, let's see. Oops. Um, looks pretty good. A little bit more here. Oops, do as much of this as you want. And, uh, it's kind of laggy here because of recording, but let's see. How does this look? I think that looks pretty good. Maybe a little bit up here. It's not blurred out. Maybe I won't feather it as much. Yeah, it's a little bit better. How's that? Does that look good? Sorry I'm taking so long with this. Um, just stop. Because I'm actually going to use this picture. Anyway, but once you have it um, done, you can look at it. Let's see if you want it more. Maybe 23 here. You can adjust the iris radius and uh, it's the blur amount. Oh, maybe not that much. Maybe 17. 5, somewhere around there. 16.8. Okay. Hmm. Maybe just leave it at 15. And uh, so that looks pretty good. So once you're done with that, 
you want to composition save from as file go to click on current settings and do best and flow and uh, photoshop is good because I'm going to be further editing it in uh, Lightroom so let's go here let's go create an actually I'm just going to create a new folder And, um, yeah, my name is Alex, so uh, that's why I put that. And, um, I'm just gonna save that. And render. So, if you want to see my part two of the video, um, you can uh, go to, uh, Go to my next video, part two, uh, and it'll be showing some stuff in uh, Lightroom. So, um, see you there.